Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, filming today here in this beautiful area of Alicante in Spain, because we are going to ski, and I'm filming with a DGA Osmo Pocket connected to my telephone, so I don't know about the sound, about the wind and everything, but the image should be a little bit more stable now, yes, if it tracks my face. Um, in today's video guys, yes, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin because something very important is happening and I don't like what I see and what I hear, so I just want to share my opinion on this subject. Also doing TA later today in a short video or maybe even at the end of this video, so keep watching till the end because you might be surprised. <laughs> Now, what is it that I am worried about? I'm worried about the fact that the industry is kind of like freaking out about the Bitcoin price. Are we in the bull market? Are we in the bear market? That's like almost the only thing that seems to matter to people. And even though people understand the concept of Bitcoin, that there's only 21 million in total, and there will never be more and the demand is growing tremendously they don't seem to understand that whatever happens in the short term in the long run Bitcoin is going up so I will get back to that in the last part of the video and probably do that behind my laptop so I can show you the charts a little bit better but what I don't see or understand is that why are people freaking out about that Bitcoin price while they should be freaking out on the fact that Bitcoin is the only one that can save them and provide them of the freedom in the future. Are you not reading the news? Didn't you see my tweet about the post what is happening in Canada? Here check the tweet, check it. Bam! As of today, a bank or other financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. In doing so, they will be protected against civil liability for actions taken in good faith. Do you now understand what I mean? This politician is telling you guys that without a court order, they will be able to freeze your bank account. Again, without a court order, they will be able to freeze your bank account. If you send money to the truckers, or maybe if you vote for the wrong political party in the future, or maybe if you drive through a traffic light and you don't pay the fine, or maybe when they see that your kid is not attending school enough, they will be able to freeze your bank account without any court order. Just like this. Bang, cross. Frozen. Do you understand the importance of this? This is terrible. This is exactly where Bitcoin for, is invented for. This is why you should be freaking out, not the Bitcoin price. The fundamentals are amazing. We can use Bitcoin as a freedom tool. They can't freeze your Bitcoins. I can't even understand why you people still have fucking fiat on a fucking bank account that is fucking able to freeze your money that you worked for your whole life. <laughs> this is not logical, guys. Why would you do that? I, I can get Lyric like really disappointed, mad. I don't know even how to describe my own feelings at the moment because I can see the biggest part of the industry is focusing on that. And I understand that it's beautiful that Bitcoin is going to go to 100k or 200k. It will. And if it takes one month or one year or five years or 10 years, what the fuck does it matter if you just keep buying Bitcoin? Dollar cost average into the Bitcoin price. 
keep buying. Keep buying the freedom for you and for your children in the future. Because if you don't have Bitcoin, they will freeze the fuck out of every asset you have because you don't obey. Fuck obey. Sorry, I'm swearing a little bit too much in this video. <laughs> Kids shouldn't be probably watching it. <laughs> but <laughs> I have these discussions daily with so many people nowadays and also with my own family. They start to understand how big this step is now that we took so many years ago. You know, I saw this happening in Greece. I have seen this happening all over the world. I have seen not only freezing your account, I've seen even limiting the access or limiting the amount you can withdraw from your account in Europe as well. And also in America and everywhere else in the world. This is going to happen and it's going to be more easy. And why is this going to be more easy, guys? Because they copied our system. They copied Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and they very fashionably call it central banks digital currency fuck central banks digital currency this is just the next step in the multi-level marketing scheme that's called fiat and the hamster wheel they want to control you even more now they're going to make a dig digital currency that will be the only one that you can have you will have atms that only accept qr codes and those QR codes, you also need to be vaccinated and have a positive social profile and all the other shit before your telephone can cash your money using that QR code. There won't be cash coming out of these ATMs in the future. I have already been talking like this about, about this, about like years, like since 2014, 15, 16, when we went all in, I started to talk already about this shit. The cash is slowly going to disappear. It's going to be replaced by digital currencies. And these are now named digital central banks, digital currency. And that will be complete full control on everything you do. You don't obey and eh, we freeze your account. Ah, oh, you don't want to pay the fine and eh, we just take the money. <laughs> you know, this is an analogy. We have the same system um, for people that, that once went bankrupt, you know. And if you go bankrupt, you get under control of this uh, institution that limits your money and at first pays all the debts that you need to pay, blah, 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 blah. This is like that and normal life for everybody else that still believes, I think, in fiat. Just imagine. Just imagine not being able to get that money out of the system that you built. You have been working your ass off. You have been supporting the countries, the governments, by paying a shitload of tax. On top of that, the inflation made it even worse. And then at the end, they will be able <laughs> to freeze your money. Because you didn't obey. This is not the game that I'm playing. And I'm getting pretty sick of it that so many people are freaking out on the price and not about freedom. Bitcoin and blockchain are the tools to give us back the freedom we always had. Financial freedom, the freedom of speech, the freedom of decentralizing the whole world in a way that we want the world to be decentralized. We will need to get back the power to the people. And we can use these amazing tools, Bitcoin and blockchain technology for this. If we don't use those tools, the right way they will and then they will be building this qr code tracking stuff on top of our blockchain people often ask me oh don't you like vchain in 2017 i did and i made some profits with vchain but now that i see that they are supporting <laughs> this whole tracking mechanism of covid non-covid vaccinated non-covid vaccinated on the blockchain nah i'm not the vchain supporter sorry for that because I do think that all cryptocurrencies out there, if it is Bitcoin or if it is any other token, should be worrying about the people and not about making millions. They should be worrying about how the fuck do we decentralize this world and take the power back to the people instead of how can we make much more millions so that the CEO and everybody else in the company, eh, not decentralized company, can 
becomes filthy rich so we can buy again a Lamborghini or show off a yacht or whatever the fuck you want to do. <clears throat> in my opinion it's really important but who am I? I'm just Diddy, I'm just walking around the world with Bitcoin t-shirts to be or not to be and a, and a Bitcoin cap but um, I just need to speak out my mind more and more I think because else nobody will because else this whole community industry crypto is slowly going in the wrong way or wrong direction in my opinion then yes it is important to become financially independent we became financial independent as well because we took a huge risk and I know that most of you are following me because they want to become financially independent but let me tell you this so what if I can make you a billionaire in a year and then you have a billion dollar in your bank account and because you just didn't listen to the mindset that is behind Bitcoin you only thought about greed becoming rich and wealthy and more and more and more and then you accumulated more and then this fucking government comes around the corner and says did you really vote for that party and eh, your billion dollar is frozen it is gone do you do you really um, express your real opinion on social media and eh, your money is gone are you really not going to be vaccinated eh, the money is gone serious no booster eh, eh, eh. all your money is gone yes I can help you to become rich yes I can help you to become maybe a better trader but I also want to help you to protect your capital in the future from those that we invented Bitcoin for Bitcoin is created to fight against these centralized institutions that want to have full control. Bitcoin is created to give all the people equal access to a new monetary system all over the world so they can live in freedom and they are not suppressed by centralized entities like a government or a tax company or whatever. Bitcoin is the most important tool of the century and we are freaking out about every minute change in the charts and that is why I'm going to make an extra video today about the charts but I'm not going to zoom in in a minute I'm going to zoom out because you need to see these charts it's three amazing charts I saw on Twitter I'm going to add them at the end of this video this is going to be a long video a 15 minute video so enjoy these beautiful three charts but please keep thinking about the first 12 minutes what I shared with you over there as well because I think that is way more important than the charts that I'm going to share now enjoy the charts BAM the first chart guys yes one that will show you why you shouldn't be freaking out now about those minute changes this is the Bitcoin halving regression in the log scale so this red line let's say that we would not look at the yellow line at all the ups and downs below and above the red line and we would only take the average points of the halving price $12 over there $650 over there $8,600 over there and we would draw that line only to touch those halving levels that would mean that if we would keep following this line guys that we would touch the line there again in the halving which would mean the next halving would be there above 100k and the halving after that would even come close to a million dollar per bitcoin if we would keep following that line that's how simple bitcoin works and yes we will go above the line and yes we will go below the line and yes we don't know how that will be playing out it could be that we will go up and then come down and then go up up and again down and you know we just don't know but the red line will be the average we can even go down from here now you know and, and then touch it there and then here get a peak again and come down below and you know touch it again over there and you know it can go in many ways but the average points of this line this halving regression would be those points so it doesn't really matter to freak out about the minute charts just keep buying because if you want to be so eagerly a millionaire like 
in your life, then just expect Bitcoin to almost hit a million dollars in 2032. So make sure you own one Bitcoin by 2032 and you're the millionaire. Now, this chart also shows the same. Maybe even clearer because of the prices now with it. So we had $12, $650, 8.6K. The next level would be 53. Then the next level would be 220. And then 690K if we keep acting and following this regression. 53 times to 13 times to 6 times to only 4 times to only 3 times. Then we would be reaching these kinds of levels, guys. Why would you be worrying now by every minute change? I just can't see something happening like this. Um, uh, okay, let's go there. It's just not logical to me. Now, am I also bearish? Do I look at the bearish scenarios as well? Yes, of course. Here, bam. This is a bearish scenario. I think this chart is um, telling you in a very uh, nice way uh, how bearish we could go in Bitcoin. Just check. We had the halving in June 2012. Then I found this on this one. Uh, I can see the name in the top here. There, that one. I found it on Twitter, by the way. It took 17 candles, 518 um, trillion with a volume of 4.5 million to reach the top. And after that, we pulled back with 86%. Then again, the next halving over there, again, it took 17 these beautiful candles to reach the top again the same kind of numbers and again we pulled back 85 percent and then 2020 the halving it took again 17 months 17 candles on this chart to reach the top and if this was the top because it was the same amount of months then we can also expect an 80 percent pullback that would be 10,700 so that's a 10K. If you look at this chart, it's looking bearish. It's looking like, okay, we had the top in because the top was reached every time again after those 17 months. So yeah, I'm also considering the bearish time. I don't believe that we fall to 10K because we have never fallen below the previous all-time high. Like you can see, this was the previous all-time high. We didn't come below it in that 2017 run. This was the previous all-time high here in 2017 i don't see us coming down below 20k in this run so maybe yes we are seeing less aggressive peaks and dips maybe this 80 percent is never ever 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 going to happen again maybe it will only be like 50 percent drops and then again up and again a 50 percent drop let's see we will see um but to be very clear the only way i attack the market is by buying bitcoins as much as I can and at the same time I trade by using the bam bam indicator and that one helps me to do some day trades week trades four hour trades um, for example here this is the bam bam indicator on the daily time frame there's a long over there the level of Bitcoin let's say was around 36,800 that's when you buy and there's a short over there the level was let's say here 42 the 6k profit with one Bitcoin trade and now you wait again to buy. So, yes, I play the game, but it's not my main focus. My main focus is freedom. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I hope you really enjoyed all the information that I shared. I hope you agree with me. If you don't agree with me, then please also comment down below because let me know what you think. Do you really think, Diddy man, you're taking it too far? It's not that important. Then do comment down below. I would love to read your um, reactions on your comments, guys. But if you did enjoy the video and all the charts, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about all that stuff? This last part was filmed without the DJI, just with the iPhone to see the difference between walking with the DJI connected or not and the sound. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your beautiful day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.